Target 12 investigators are working new details in the protests outside the Wyatt Detention Center that took a dangerous turn. The state's top prosecutor tells us their decision on whether to press charges should be coming soon, and investigators are also looking into whether correctional officers were justified in then using pepper spray as is seen in the video. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. Attorney General Peter Nerona was our guest on Newsmakers, and he says they are using a grand jury to review evidence in this case, which is why it's taking some time to determine if there will be charges. Last month, a pickup truck driven by a captain at the Wyatt Detention Center pushed its way into a crowd of protesters. The activist group Never Again Action, they're speaking out against an agreement the prison reached with Immigration and Customs Enforcement to house detainees. I'm a big believer in, in taking your time when you have time, and we clearly have time here. Attorney General Peter Nerona says the grand jury is examining two issues. One is the operation of the vehicle, uh, and the other one is the deployment of pepper spray. You can see Wyatt correctional officers using the deterrent at protesters around the truck. Should it have been deployed? What are the right circumstances? I'm speaking very broadly now. So those are the questions that we'll be asking ourselves and asking the grand jurors to, uh, to consider. Captain Thomas Woodworth, who was behind the wheel of the truck, resigned days after the incident. But there have been questions about whether protesters should have been arrested as well. Nerona says that would have been the role of the Central Falls Police who were hands off that night. You know, I don't want a Monday morning quarterback and, and, and their mission is different from mine. I think, you, you know, if they were to self-reflect, maybe they would do it differently if they had to do it again. Now, as for a timeline, Nerona says grand jury reviews can take some time, but this is moving relatively quickly and he expects results within the next month. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.